Now let's get into the particulars of the game, the matchups to watch, and some predictions. So let's start off with the, the Niners' defense against the Rams' offense. Everyone pick a matchup from that matchup that you think is critical to the outcome of this game. Oof. I think it's going to be Jamar Taylor. Uh, they're going to have opportunities to get the Rams off the field. Um, so those third downs, they love drawing it up to the slot wide receiver. We saw last year when Jimmy Ward stopped them a couple times on going to Cooper Cup out of the slot. And that's where it's going to come from To if you want to get the Rams off the field. So Jamar Taylor, I'm interested to see if he has a comeback game because he, he did have that interception from the Dolphins right there, but he stopped running. Hmm. That's a good one. I was actually going to consider that too, but now, now you stole it. I mean, I, I'm trying to avoid the oh the key match of Aaron Donald because I, I don't think there is – I have no way – of inclination, any indication, anything that I think they're going to slow him down. I think he's going to feast. And this guy had four sacks last week, so no, I think, I think the key matchup here is going to have to be at least, at least the safeties. You know, at least the safeties in terms of coming up against the run and coming up for those slot receivers, like giving support to Jamar, Ta Jamar Taylor. I know it's more than just like giving adjustments to help, but those receivers, Cooper Cup and Robert Woods, man, that's like one of that's. Uh, that's one of the best wide receiver duos. I was going to give them the best wide receiver duos, but that's one of the best out there just because they're so interchangeable. And at least so Tart, Tart and Ward, they both like to come up and play the box. They need to play – they need to be on their A game because these guys can dust them and make sure you're not taking the wrong angles once they get once they get those yak. So they really need to be on their toes because, you know, I think Taylor's going to get beat at times. I think McVay is going to scheme him up to find him open. So I think those are going to be the last line of defense. We're going to see a lot of those chunk plays, I think, the Rams. So those safety plays – are gonna is gonna be very key and crucial presenting big plays. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see how the Rams attack the 49ers. They they did two different things against them last year. And the first game was a lot of drop back and those kind of things. Mm. Uh, they weren't very successful with it, and they came back in that second game at Levi's and and it was play action left, play action right, and really gave the 49ers fit to the second half and they adjusted. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Robert Sala does adjust everybody. He did it in that game, and that's why he, he did was able to come yep. back. You know, uh, um, it's a great adjustment, you know, and, and and not only that, but you had uh, I think it was Greenlaw or no, excuse me, it was uh, 54 get the pick six right before halftime. That's really mm -hmm. what kind of, you know, fed oh, yeah, that, that comeback. Oh, so, oh, yeah. you know, I, I'm not gonna say any one, any I can like you know, pick any one position group, but just really interesting to see how the, the uh, Rams are going to attack this defense. So, I, no, that's a good one, McVeigh against Robert Sala. It was a terrific matchup week 16 last week, uh, last year. Mm -hmm. McVeigh's game plan was brilliant and Robert Sala's adjustments were effective and timely. I'm going to go with, I have a couple. First of all, you said Jamar Taylor against Cooper Cup. That's a really good one. It shouldn't be Jamar Taylor versus Cooper Cup. That's an, that's look, no offense to your friend. Um, or you're not, uh, I thought Jamar Taylor was arguably as bad as Brian Allen in that game. It's just Brian Allen's plays were a little bit more obvious, but Jamar Taylor is struggling. And if he has to go against Cooper Cup man-to-man, -man, that's just not a matchup he can win consistently. So I think what the Niners need to do is, is be prepared for Jamar Taylor to have some serious problems early in the game and have a backup plan. You know, I, I wouldn't even start him. To me, all the, the, the Rams receivers are slot guys, just like the mm -hmm. Niners. And against them, you need to have your best corners in the slot. So either Verrett or Mosley needs to go in the slot, uh, and you need to bring in Witherspoon and play him outside. I would go those three. If they have Jamar Taylor as one of their three, then the Niners, I don't know if they're going to win this game. So I, I think they need to have Mosley in the slot. Last year when they would play against the Rams, they would have J uh, Jimmy Ward drop down in the slot. They got to do something. Um, because, again, Jamar Taylor, like he's been on the team for a week and a half, it's a lot to ask. Uh, and then another one. How about Javon Kinlaw versus Austin Corbett? Okay, Kinlaw's having – we've praised him a lot and we've given him some props, but the dude still hasn't got a sack. And I think he has one quarterback hit or zero. So this would be a great week for him to get off the schneid and to get his first career sack. He's going against a guy, Austin Corbett, who's just a guy. He's no, he's nothing special. Former second round pick, but he's not that good. Javon Kinlaw should be physically superior to him. Kinlaw, step up. Uh, they they could really use it. You're not you're not like it's not like you're behind schedule, but they sure could use it because the only way they're getting any pressure right now is from blitzes from Fred Warner and Jamar Taylor. So, Kinlaw, it'd be nice to see that from him. And Goff doesn't move. And Goff doesn't move. So, Javon, you can have a big game today. You're going against 
you know, a mediocre guard and, you're, and, and, a, and a quarterback who doesn't move.